Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be, welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new around here, my name is James, aka Widowed, and today I'm doing a bit of an account update, just progress video, to let y'all know what I've been up to since the last one, because the very first video I ever released on the channel was sort of an account introduction going over skills and quests and what gear items I have and stuff like that. So I figured it's been six months, it's probably about time I did another one of those, because this is the main account that I play on, my sort of fake group Iron Man. Uh, I am a group Iron Man, but my partner is indefinitely away from the game, at least until sailing comes back. I know he's excited about that. So, I'm basically an Iron Man, a regular Iron Man. We've been coming quite a long way since the last video. I mean, I've already got my skills panel up here, but you can see the levels are, are certainly coming together on this account. Almost up to 2,000 total level, and the combat stats in particular, uh, magic, ranged, and hit points are all the highest stats I have. Uh, the ranged and hit points is in particular, but the magic not far behind. Mainly because of the amount of gauntlet runs that I've done, I think. So using those two styles to kill Hunloth lots of times, uh, plus Slayer tasks, you know. Whereas my melee is lagging a bit further behind, but I'm doing my best to work on them. I've been doing plenty of Perilous Moons recently, which has helped. And the new Blood Rager set is actually alright for melee training. I've been using it a bit, but I'll mention that later on a bit more. In terms of skilling, the big one that I just finished was Construction and Smithing, because that allowed us to get couple of huge upgrades so those are now pretty much where I want them to be the rune crafting needs to go up for a lot of different diaries but fuck rune crafting the herb laws looking all right we've got access to pretty much everything at this point the only thing that we don't have is super combats which is still three levels away but we're chipping away at it with miscellaneous coming in daily uh, my miscellanea is fully loaded at the minute with with cash, so yeah, got plenty of herbs coming in there, even though I'm terrible at my farm runs. Don't think the agility's changed too much, not likely. The thieving has gone up a fair way, and since the last video I did finish Pyramid Plunder, as in I got my Pharaoh Scepter. May end up going back at some point, because the second one would be nice to actually keep, because the first one went into an altar. Uh, but we'll get to that in a little while as well. The crafting's looking good. We can do pretty much everything that we need to at this stage. We've just got... Yeah, we need like three more levels to be able to make the bracelet. And the amulet we don't need for ages yet. So we're not worried about that. But honestly, I've been so dry on Zenites. Uh, again, I'll be covering gear in a different section just in a little while. But yeah, the Zenites have been a bitch to get, so I haven't had to get my crafting level up because I haven't had any. Fletching is just sort of sat there until I get a dragon crossbow limbs. There's no reason for me to get it up and I'm not going to get those because I haven't been doing many rune dragons and I'm waiting until I get my trident. I don't have a trident yet, but I do now have the level for one where I've only had a single kraken task. And I've just been unloading all my points into skipping tasks to try and get Krakens and just not getting them and it's miserable. So I got an entire Slayer level without getting my Trident. Yeah. But once I get the Trident, I'll, I think Rune Drags for a DCB will be one of the, the next sort of gear progression upgrades that I will be going for. But yeah, that's getting more onto gear. Uh, the Hunter's coming along. It's just sort of a every now and then skill. It's not something I ever focus on, but did a bit of the Hunter's Rumors stuff and done bird houses here and there. Uh, these skills are more shaky. The farming is very high, which is good because I boosted to make multiple spirit trees. The only way it improves is if we get to 99 now, we'd be able to get unlimited spirit trees, but that's a long way away. 
Uh, the smithing, like I said, we just got a big goal done with that, so that's nice. Although it does still need to go a lot higher. I just hate that skill. The cooking's good. These are a little low. But yeah, our skills in general are coming together nicely. We are above 70 in everything. Above 75 in everything. 75 is our lowest level with runecrafting. So definitely coming along and most things are closer to in the 80s range or most of the important things that we care about anyway i think that's about it for skills though on to what's probably a much quicker segment is quests and achievements uh quests done them all yep got a quest cave <laughs> that one was easy I'll, I'll do new quests as they come out like i'm not ever planning to be behind on quests i will have that quest kit there's some mini quests that i haven't done yet but uh who gives a fuck and achievement diaries we have done all of them up to hard except for the western provinces and the wilderness because western provinces requires you to get chompy kills and i just can't be asked it's not worth it for the rewards because the rewards are that great and I can't be able to get like 500 chompy kills. I'll get to it eventually. Uh, and wilderness, fuck that place. I don't know if I need more than medium ever. Maybe getting hard would be good. But uh, yeah, fuck it. Hate that place. Hate it. Uh, everything else is done up to hard. Lumbridge and Drainer is actually done elite. I got that done last night. And can now use fairy rings without a dreaming or lunar staff which is absolutely fucking amazing saves me an invent slot pretty much everywhere like the amount of times you use fairy rings to get somewhere i now have an extra invent slot every time coupled with the fact that i now have a fairy ring in my house which i'll show you in just a little while i can get everywhere really i don't need quest cape or rd cape on me or dreaming staff i just have access now uh, the house has been very much upgraded recently i'm excited to show that off but yeah achievement diaries mostly all hard except western wildy uh which are on easy and medium respectively and then we've got the elite lumbridge as well i think elite karamj is the next one i would like to get but it requires a real high rune crafting level i can boost it with spicy stews but yeah, you still have to get absolutely like 11 more levels and fuck Minecraft. Alright, it's time to get into the juicy stuff, the bank. My currency tab is a bit underwhelming at the minute. Uh, like I say, I do have like 7 mil in miscellaneous right now, so that's nice. And I have some in coffers here and there, like my blast furnace has a bit topped up in it, you know, things like that. So, there's money in places where we might potentially need it, uh, but yeah, the cash stack I tend to keep around a mill and I end up spending it on things like runes or construction I've been spending it on recently. Yeah, mainly runes and construction are the two big expenditures. Uh, and deaths, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I have a fair share of deaths. <laughs> I've been trying to do a lot of the God Wars bosses recently and it hasn't been going too hot, so... A lot of my money has been going on deaths. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we are looking kind of hot on the gear department. though. This is my like generic Slayer tab. We've just got, you know, the standard stuff. We do have the Dragonfire Shield. I can't remember if we had it last time or not. Got the cannon ornamented now. Uh, Dragon Boots took so fucking long to get. Seriously, it was, it was like over a thousand KC for me to get these that are meant to be a 1 in 128. And then like 10 kills later, I got the second pair. It was the most frustrating experience of my life, killing spiritual mages for dragon boots. I did like six slayer tasks, maybe. And probably more, probably like seven or eight different slayer tasks just to get them. It was stressful and it was painful and I can now block spiritual mages whenever I get slayer points but we're on that whole kraken spiel that I uh, mentioned at the minute. That being said, this is no longer my best in slot uh, melee strength bonus gear. It's my best non-degradable gear but 
we do have the full blood rage set, and this actually has a better strength bonus, at least on the legs, than the Orbe, uh, and equivalent to the fighter tosser on the chest, but with better defensive bonuses, and really not much downside at all. You know, you get that extra 50 magic defense, which in a lot of scenarios is actually better than the alternative. Like, having having magic and range defense be better here is good against God Wars, for example, when you're getting hit by all three styles, you're praying against melee, so having ranged and magic defense, with magic being the one that you need the most of, like, often people end up taking ranged gear, even though they're attacking with melee, because of the magic defenses, so in those sorts of scenarios, the Blood Moon set is actually sick. Uh, and another nice thing about it is that when you have the full set equipped, you have a chance of a 33% chance of attacking one tick faster, which triggers more often than you'd think, and can actually be pretty damn nice. Like, let's just go wax on one real quick. You'll see the thing like pop up above my head when it happens. There it is. Which kind of low-key makes these weapons a really good AFK training set for like Nightmare Zone or Sand Crabs or whatever. Because the DPS is just so high on these things against targets with like low defense. And if you have the full set, you can also use this spec which drains your health by 25% of current. Uh, but it guarantees you to get the improved attack speed and you know if you're in Nightmare zone or whatever you can just be AFK in and then Like use the specs when they're up because you're on one HP anyway. It doesn't cost you anything But yeah A blood rage set is actually low-key being really nice I wasn't excited about it when I was getting pieces of it But now that I have it and I've made use of it. I'm a big big fan of this set Got bits of Barrow's gear. I feel like I had most of this last time, though. Uh, the whip is also new. Uh, two whips, I guess. So we've got the Volcanic and the uh, Chain Whip for the user's preference. Because I'm an idiot and bought the Volcanic kit, forgetting that I already had the ornament kit. Yeah, that's about it for the melee tab, I think. Generally, not too bad. These are a great crush weapon. We don't have a good stab weapon at the minute. That is our biggest lack or in terms of melee on the account. I am trying my best to remedy it, but it's tough to get a good stab weapon on an iron man. Ranged. Right now, we only have the crystal body. However, I do have an extra crystal armor seed. I'm just waiting for one more to make into the legs. I don't think it's worth doing the helm, because the majority of the time we wear an ass layer helm anyway. I'd rather just save this and not have to revert it and lose shards, because shards are like gold dust to me. I'm struggling so much to get them, even with the amount of gauntlet I do, and Zalcano that I do. Uh, I always seem to be low on shards, maybe because I use my bow for so much. Uh, but yeah, we, we got the both for still. We're rocking the Ava's Assembler now, the upgraded Vorkath version. I don't know if we had it before. Uh, and I don't think we had the Archer's Ring before either, but I do have all three of my DK rings now uh, fully, fully unlocked and imbued. We got some blessed pieces and the Necklace of Anguish, the single Zenite that I have had went on the Anguish. And let me show you how many Demonic Gorilla kills I have folks because Zenites are supposed to be a 1 in 300 drop and this is absolutely fucking disgusting I should have had 4 by now I need 4 and I've had 1 I don't know how dry you can go on something that you need multiple of but it's honestly killing me this grind this is the worst one by far because I, I, could, I could cope with 3 even just two would be nice, so that I could get my Tormented Bracelet, which would be a massive upgrade for my Mage DPS. A Ring of Suffering as well. Really, really nice Azora. I don't even care about the Torture. The Melee Amulet, I don't care. Just give me the first three. Please, God, because it's been 1,200 Gorillas, and I don't know how much drier I can get. I don't know how much drier I can get. 
but yeah, we did get the Anguish at least, so I guess that's nice. Got the Ecli Eclipse at LOL, but none of the other gear from that set. No Carols aside from the crossbow itself, which I don't think I've ever used. I must have used it, shot it at least once, because it's on 100. But yeah, nothing too special on the range. I guess we've got the Anguish, and that's nice. And then, like, these are the main upgrades since last time. I'd say these three. Uh, I guess the, the Chaps as well, from a Black Day hard. But nothing too crazy there. And then on the Mage tab, we basically just have an Arims. <laughs> Like, I don't think anything else has really changed. I can't remember if we had the imbued mage kit last time, but we do now. We do have the, the Seer's Ring as well, and the Infinity Boots for whatever the hell that's worth. I only got these because they do get upgraded into the Eternals later. Uh, the Warp Scepter, I can't remember if we had last time. Probably did. Just got a random book in the offhand. We've got Book of the Dead now, I guess. We didn't have that before maybe so that's something but yeah there's not a lot going on here pretty much just the arams as an upgrade on the mage part i'm not sure if i had the ancient scepter either before but we do have the ancient scepter now as well which is nice and the imbued heart i think we already had still saving up for that upgrade it's 150,000, i think to uh, to saturate it but yeah, Mage is sort of lacking in the gear department. I really want the Blue Moon set, but unfortunately I haven't got a single piece of it yet. Just going to have to keep grinding on that one, and uh, hopefully we'll make some progress soon. Nothing really to show on the Teleport tab. The Skilling tab, okay. we got Full Graceful, of course. We've got a Regen Bracelet if we ever need it. And we have pretty much all of our Skilling outfits completed. Uh, at least all the gathering ones, we've got mining, woodcutting and fishing here, all four pieces of each outfit. Don't have a dragon pick yet, that is the main tool I'm lacking on this account, 100% want one, but it's tough. Calphite Queen is still slapping me, no matter what I do. Having a Suffer in there would actually be really nice, I think, and a Blood Fury as well. But I haven't been able to get a Blood Shard or a Zenite Shard. So I haven't really been able to make much progress. And I, my levels could still do with a bit more work. Calphite Queen is just a bitch. And I'm not going to the wilderness. Fuck that place. But yeah, we got the other two Dragon Tools. The Harpoon I got from Worms ages ago. And the Axe uh, I got from DKs when I was grinding those out. All four sets here. This one's the Carpenter's set. I should probably swap the fishing one around so that... Yeah, we got the Carpenter's set as well, fully done, and one piece of the Guild Hunter thing. Yeah, nothing else going on there. Food, I do have access to fish and cook sharks now, along with crab ones, so that's my main food source, along with random anglers and manners that we get from drops. Uh, but yeah, I did, did get my fishing and cooking levels up. I think in the last one I was working on my cooking levels because I'd just been left in a spot where I didn't have access to sharks. And now I do again. So, yep. That's that's uh, sort of come along a bit. Not too much development there, but I'll probably get back to the fishing eventually so I can get some more anglers because these are really nice to have as a main food source. Potions? Pretty good. I don't think we had brews last time, but we do now. We've got restores as well, of course. We've got staminas. We've got some divines. Uh, we've got a few anti venoms, though they're not actually in this tab. And ranging potions. Pretty much everything that we need. The prayer potions are a little low at the minute. I could do with stocking up on some of those, but I'm too lazy to farm Renars. Uh, and I could do with some more stamina as well, but I'm too lazy to run laps. Seeds, I am like really stocked on at the minute. I haven't been doing much farming lately. I'm neglecting it heavily, but it's already quite high level compared to most of my skilling things. So I'm basically stocked up with everything that I ever need on seeds. I just rarely make use of them. <laughs> uh, and the herb stock's kind of low, cause you know, 
been making most of them into potions as soon as we can, but some of them I've just got like, I've got fucking thousand dwarf weed here, I just have no wines of Sammy, because I want to farm KQ, but I'm, I'm not able to yet. That's my main real goal at the minute, I guess, is to farm KQ, both the uh, Zami wines, the head, and dragon pickaxe, but not being able to make consistent runs at it yet. Now, the crafting tab wouldn't be too interesting normally, except for the fact that we've actually got two onyxes. It's wild. Okay, I didn't buy either of these. I got one from Zora on, like, my third kill or something. I've only done, like, eight Zora KC, and I got an onyx out of it. Would have liked to blow up, but I'm not complaining. And then I got one later from Skateezer, of all things. I think it was Skateezer that gave me the second one. I can't actually remember. But I'm pretty sure it was Skateezer. And so now I just have these two Onyxes sat in my bank, waiting for those Zenites that are taunting me and never appearing. Because you need to combine an Onyx with a Zenite shard to get a Zenite piece of jewelry. So, let the here, they both came as drops from two different sources, which is absolutely wild, because the drop rate on both of those is super low. But, yeah, we've got a couple Onyxes sat there. Uh, we've been getting a decent amount of water orbs from the Perilous Moons, which is nice for making battle staffs and alking them for cash. But yeah, nothing too much going on in here. The smithing tab's not too interesting either. Most of these skilling tabs, really, there isn't too much going on. We just sort of got general supplies of various different things. I guess there's some skilling gear here too, with the Pyromancer Garb Hood and the Brumer Torch. Did get all of those, and I don't think I mentioned the Ring of Shadows at any point, but we do also have that charged up with teleports to... Gosh, where do I have teleports to? I got one of them. To the Gorok dungeon. Muspa and Duke, which is actually a really nice one to have, because it's an awkward one to get to otherwise. Uh, but yeah, nothing too crazy there. Nothing too crazy on the Sepulchre tab. Got a bunch of the Hallowed gear. I haven't been there in forever, though. I feel like I must have had most of that last time. I don't really think there's too much else to show in the gear. I think we've got through most of it. It's my tomb set up as weird as it is. It's about as good as we can get, so uh, there should be a blessing there though. I don't know why there isn't. Yeah, I think that's basically it. That's basically uh, the whole lot of gear-wise. It's coming along. We're not doing bad at the minute. The magic could do with a bit of a boost and perhaps we need a better stab weapon, but aside from that, things are not going too badly in the gear department. How about though, before we finish this up, we do a bit of a house tour. I think that would be a, a good idea because my house is looking very nice indeed at the minute. I'm going to get to it via spirit tree because I have a spirit tree in my house. Don't remember if I did last time, but I do now. Look at the little fucker. We've also got, you may notice, a fiery ornate pool of rejuvenation from participating in the Trailblazer League. Very happy about that one. It is the maximum pool. It's better than the one at Ferox. Put it that way. So I never have to go to Ferox Enclave again on this account. I just come to a house and do this. Uh, the reason it's better is because it doesn't reset your positive stat drains either. It keeps those it just gets rid of negatives and it cures everything from venom to one hp to no prayer to energy special attack which you don't get from ferox either everything gets reset here it's fantastic definitely been an absolute game changer to have in the poh another thing that is a game changer that spirit tree there not only can it get me to Priftinus really quickly and easily, it can get me to Varrock or Brimhaven really quickly and easily. We've got the Tree Gnome Stronghold for the tree patches there. And we have the Farming Guild, which gives us super quick access to a bank if we ever want it. That's the reason I got this one, because it's just like five steps away from a bank, so it gives us 
uh, basically a bank inside our house and a way of uh, doing construction related things without having to have an invent slot for house teleports because we can just walk back and forth to the bank in the farming guild. Uh, and in terms of construction related things, we've been doing a lot of them recently. I did get myself a portal nexus yesterday. It's full at the minute with four options loaded from our previous portal room that I deleted afterwards. I've got South Graveyard portal up there as well left over once I can upgrade this but I need a bit more money to make the marble and gold to buy the pieces for it to add more teleports to this so I just haven't got around to that yet I only built this last night but uh, yeah we got some decent teleports in there this is a good place to buy runes at Lunar Isle this is a farm place this is barrows and this is used for slayer tasks all necessary to have this one i like to have just to get over to canopies quickly but we don't really need it to be honest i could probably delete it because we can get to canopies just as easily by going cks without any need for further tools how nice is that but the question is do i know what my own house's fairy ring is i haven't got a clue oh Oh, I got it! D.I.Q! I just guessed! <gasps> a mysterious old man! Is he gone? Never mind. Yeah, so the teleports, not looking bad at the minute. We've got the Spirit Tree, Portal Nexus, Fairy Ring, all around our entry portal. We have a recharge fully of everything. And right here we have some more teleports in the form of this jewelry box, which I have also fully completed now. We can go anywhere from any of the jewelry in the game, except for the Fortis Coliseum, because I haven't got the glory to unlock it yet. But anywhere that we would be able to go from jewelry, we can now go from our house, which is an extra nice thing to have. All our teleports are fully unlocked. We've also got a deck site pendant on the wall here, uh, unlimited charges, so we can use any of the dig site pendant or teleport options to go to Fossil Island, dig site, or Lifgren Vault for the Metal Dragons. And we have an Occult Altar. I can change to any spell book free of charge as many times as I want in my house. It is so fucking nice to have. Oh, not having to run to that fucking pyramid every time you want to be on Ancients. All you have to do is go to your house, which I can get to any number of ways, despite which spellbook I'm on, because I have a spirit tree and a fairy ring and house teleports and, a sk you know, like, if I can get to a bank, I can get to my house, because I can skills necklace to the farming guild and then spirit tree here, or I could seed pod and then spirit tree here, or whatever. The, the access in and out of the house now and the facilities in the house to change my spell book and recharge everything. I finally completed it. There's nothing else I want here. The only benefit I could have now is if I got up to 95 construction, I could combine the fairy ring and the spirit tree onto the same space. But that's it. Everything else is done. The house is done. I need to add more portals to that teleport. That's not pressing need there isn't anything i particularly desperately want in it yeah the house is coming along really really nice i can't remember if we have any pet changes since last time we've got ziggy corrupted and elodinus warden ultimacon's warden uh, but yeah that is pretty much wrapping it up on this i think We've got Spice Rack over there as well, and Dead Combat Dummy. We've got a room full of various items that were clogging up my bank. Just stuck in here. Uh, armor Repair, Altar. Not that it's worth much anymore now that there's a better prayer method in Valamore. Lectern. All the things that you would want in your house are fully here. And I think the only other thing I wanted to do in this video, because we did it in the last one, was to check the age of the account. And we have apparently been playing for 109 days, 15 hours. I'm actually going to go and look up right now, because I'm curious what it was last time. 
Okay, last time it was 72 days and 18 hours. I don't feel like that's even that bad. I mean, I say it was six months. I did spend two months playing Trailblazer League where I didn't touch this account at all. So it is really more like a four month update. It's just been six months since the last update. So it kind of makes sense that I didn't get quite as, as much playtime as I might have expected over the last six months. But yeah, yeah, I bet a fair chunk of that's AFK time as well. I spent fucking 38 minutes just sat at a bank today when I woke up not doing anything. So I'm sure all that all adds up. But yeah, that, it, it's good. I'm, I'm happy with the account at the minute. We're looking pretty zesty. We're going well. Things are progressing. And if you've been wondering where one hour limit locks is, don't worry, it's coming. I'm starting a new season. Either tomorrow or the day after I'm going to start filming. I've already got the intro done. It's fire. I'm really hyped. And it may well be the last season. But if it is, we're certainly going to make sure we go out on a bang. Uh, so I can't wait to share that with you all. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you see that next series when it comes out as we become a Tomb Raider. And yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your account progress is going. What's your big goal at the minute? My current main goal is to get a trident. But I'm absolutely fucked on slayer points right now. So it's been a bit weirded. After the trident, I want to do some more Zulra Casey and some more KQ. Like, see if we can get ourselves that dragon pickaxe. We need the Zenites too, but... The Slayer mission is ever ongoing, it is a long grind and we have made a shit ton of progress since the last time in that in that regard, so it's only going to keep going as we further level our account. Alright, that's me wrapping up. The only thing left to say is take care of yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.